Hey, what's up guys? It's Wolfkeeper. So today I'm going to be teaching you a few phrases that you probably have heard about, but you're not really sure what they mean or anything like that. So let's just get started. Oh man, I got our first phrase, which is parody. Parody is where you have one edge flipped uh, for OLL on 4x4, uh, and this is how much time you take doing that all. And yeah, you just keep solving, but you can run into something like this. This is also called a uh, PLL parody, uh, where you can't get a PLL case that you can on the 3 by 3 So it goes like this. And then you finish solving. Like that. So when you get to the top yellow face, if you're using beginner's method or anything like that, uh, if you saw the last clip where I went over parity, I mentioned a few other terms such as uh, OLL, orienting the last layer, and PLL, which is permuting the last layer. So you can have all of these yellow pieces facing another way rather than up, so to get them all facing up, you do a certain algorithm, in this case it is that, and uh, let's say you have uh, maybe this algorithm for PLL, which is permuting the last layer. So you have all of your yellow pieces facing up, but you don't have all the uh, top layer faces um, facing or in the right place. So you can do a certain algorithm to get them all permuted uh, to a solved cube. Okay, so this next term is um, F2L, which stands for the first two layers. So uh, once you have finished solving the white cross, you have uh, these uh, first two layers to solve. So you can do a few certain algorithms to solve what we like to call um, pairs and move them into a big uh, block on the bottom um, on the bottom face and by the way block stands for like a big a big um, cluster of pieces so like this that's a block and yeah so this next term, which I mentioned in the last clip of F2L, or the first two layers, is white cross. Uh, so white cross is where you um, start solving the cube by taking basically any uh, color face and putting in these uh, any color face edges with their respective centers. So like that, so you have the white and blue in the blue and white center, and the white red, and red white centers. So you do that to all of the centers, and then you have your white cross. Okay, so this next term is Yao, which is a method used on 4x4, where you create a white center uh, bars. This is the white center, by the way, all of these uh, middle pieces. So you create both of those, so here we have one and two, and then you mash them up to create the white center, and then you do the exact same thing to the uh, yellow center as you did the white center, uh, but in this case you don't want to break up the white center, because uh, white is opposite yellow, so um, if you were to move this white center bar up, to the opposite face of white, it would destroy the white center down here. So you actually have to move it over two times. And then you have uh, one bar of the yellow center, and then you have another right there, and then you can insert this one to here by doing this. And now you have your white opposite yellow center. 
And what you want to do now is you want to create uh, three of these white little edge pieces. So these are two edges uh, formed to create one big edge. So you create three of those and make sure they are in the uh, right color scheme. So uh, what I do is green, red, and um, orange. So you have green in front, red on left, and orange on right. So then what you do is create the um, last few centers. So, and you want to keep uh, this little cross on the left. So you create a green center bar, you move them together, and you want to match this big edge up with the center. So you can now create a red bar and um, move it to here. And then to create this last center bar, we want to do um, this, and then do this, and now we have our bar, but we've destroyed the green center. So we want to move it over one spot, and then uh, move it back. And now we want to transport this red bar over to this one, so we do this. And now we've replaced the green center and then we can move these two bars together like we did with the white and yellow center. And now we have our last two centers, which can go like this. And then you have uh, two bars for them. And then you, you can do this to match them up. And now uh, what you wanna do is you want to, uh, well, since you didn't create this last white edge, uh, you see the white-blue edge and the white-blue edge. So um, a slice like that to create that uh, white-blue edge. We move it to the top layer like this. By the way, this is the top layer. So we do this. And then we can slice back our centers, so now we've recreated them, and now we can move this white, uh, this white edge uh, next to this little cross here, and then we can move on to the next step of the L. Okay, so this next term is DNF, which uh, which the letters stand for did not finish. So when you're solving a super theory, this can only, or, well, actually it can happen on any cube, but uh, when you're solving a three by three, uh, so we do the steps, and there's another term, which I will be going over in the next clip, which is plus two. So once you're on uh, permuting the last layer, um, once you do that algorithm, if you don't, if you're not one turn away and you stop the timer, that is a did not finish because you are more than one turn away. And that is a DNF. Oh man, this refers to a plus two. If your cube is more than one turn away uh, from being solved, or 45 degrees away from being solved, that is uh, referred to as a plus two. So uh, as you can see, that's a plus two since it's over um, this edge right here, or this line is over that edge. So that's what we call a plus two. So if you were to uh, stop the timer at this point, that would um, add two seconds onto your official time uh, for solving the cube, and that is what we call a plus two.
So this next term, we actually don't need anything, but uh, the term is WCAA, which stands for World Cube Association. Uh, the World Cube Association um, takes your times, puts them into data, ranks you top level, bottom level, just any sort of data that they have from your times. And to, um, this is very important. To become a WCA member, you have to at least go to one competition, and that is what I will be going over next. So, uh, I, what I said in the last term video, which uh, was comps, or competitions, uh, competitions are where you go to a certain venue, and you have a 3 by 3 for, for any uh, cube that they say in the um, information about the competition. So you have a timer and any cube and you have judges and anyone who is recording your times. You have WCA uh, delegates, which are people who determine things like plus twos, which I went over in our last clip. Um, DNS or anything like that and that is what we call a competition. So this next term is uh, what we call sub. So sub is um, any time below a sig uh, significant time barrier so we have things like sub 25, sub 30, sub 20, sub 10, sub 15. So what I'm gonna do here is a time solve with this timer and the uh, GAN 356X and see what time I get and if it is sub, let's say sub 20. Okay, so my prediction was right. We have a sub 20, which is 17.57 seconds. And that is what we call sub any time. All right, so this last term is what we call shape mods. So here I have a uh, type of a shape mod. This is a uh, Minx shape mod, which is a dodecahedral shape mod like this. Uh, which is uh, s most commonly known as of a Megaminx. Uh, and this, a Megaminx looks pretty much uh, close to this. But this is what we call a um, Rediminx, which is a combination of a Redi cube and a Megaminx. So it can turn, uh, well, this shape mod can turn on these axes like a ready cube and that's pretty much all the turns it can do but um, this is one of the more easier shape mods uh, but yeah that's what we call a shape mod so in this video we talked about a uh, few terms such as parity f2l yao dnf plus two wca comps um, any sort of term that you may not have heard about before. Uh, so if there are any terms that you are still not sure of, please, please let me know in the comments down below um, so I can get back to you with any other terms uh, that you aren't sure of. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more content like this. And I love you guys.